watching Phone Reno's video review of the D900 multimedia slider from Samsung. It is part of the Ultra series and as you can see, Ultra stands for Ultra Slim as the phone is just half an inch thick. It is black stylish slider with just superb QVGA 240 by 320 pixel display with vivid colors, sharp and detailed images. Its keys are sized well with wonderful backlit and tactile response but suffering from being almost completely flush, so it's hard to distinguish one from the other. On the left and right sides respectively are the volume keys plus the micro SD slot and the camera key plus the connectors. There is nothing on the bottom or the top as well on the back before you open the slider which requires no effort and slides open very smoothly and easily thanks to the excellent spring mechanism. The bulge on the upper slider is the phone's main feature. It's 3 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash and mirror for self-portrait. The home screen displays the standard service information and you can set an animation as a background of the display. The main menu is a grid of 9 icons in black and white style, illuminated by different colors, but can also be seen as a list if it's that more convenient to you. Unfortunately, the phone doesn't support themes but only a couple of cover skins, black and silver one. The phone book holds up to a thousand contacts that are displayed as a list. Adding a new one allows you to save multiple numbers and to assign picture and ringtone to it just in a few steps. Nothing extraordinary also in the organizer which consists of all the standard features like word clock, converter and timers. The camera interface is a little bit complicated but it has enough options for shooting and the images produced are among the best as we've compared it with four other 3 megapixel phones in various lighting conditions and environments and it was the leader in outdoor, macros and night shots but indoor in poor writing suffered from the weak flash. The music player is not the most convenient we've seen, but it works well and the quality of the headphones is above average. We'd still like if the manufacturer shipped adapter for standard headphones in the box. You can change the visualization or the equalizers with the letter affecting the sound. During a call, the quality of the voice was high in contrast to the volume of the sound, which is just average. The signal strength is also average and it is similar to the N73 and Nokia N80 phones, but is weaker than the one of the Sony Ericsson K800. When we combine D900's performance with its solid construction, stylish design, slim profile and incredible camera, the phone is definitely worth trying, especially considering it is a quad-band GSM Edge device capable of global roaming.